everybody, it's your girl JLove81, and you're watching Linda, aka The Gamer Girl. Hey, everybody, Linda, aka The Gamer Girl, here, and today I'm just going to show you where I went to when I was in Pueblo, Colorado. Somehow I got my files back. It was weird. I thought that this footage had been lost. I'm being honest. I had a couple SD cards get corrupted. Um, I'm just letting you know my PC was acting up. It's still acting up, but... So it fried a couple um, thumb drives and also corrupted some files. And I couldn't find it uh, throughout the time. Thought I deleted them or whatever because a lot of the files were not working. But yay, I got it back. So, <laughs> if you don't know. Game Force is a local game store that was my go-to when I was growing up as a child. It is not a franchise, but it is run by a couple people who own multiple stores. So, there's one in Denver. There's well, actually a couple in Denver. And then there's one in, if you go to Pueblo, there's a small one. It's like half the size of the ones in Denver. And the one thing I love about these stores is you are always welcome. They'll shoot the breeze with you. They don't even care. If you you go in there and you film, you talk to them, you're chilling. They are always there to help you out. And the one thing that, another thing not many people know about Game Force, if you're new to the area, they have a lot of controllers, cords, cables, they have a surplus of everything and they have a lot of games boxed so if you're looking for something and you're not sure go check them out now the locals always go there and they get tired of it so they go traveling to the other one in Denver but the ones in Denver <laughs> always come to this one and it's funny to see now their selection is a little bit different than your GameStop they have a ton of different items and they also have a lot of retro games that you can't find in GameStop anymore. Now their Wii, Wii U is a little bit smaller so if you're going for Wii or Wii U you're not going to find a lot. Their handhelds, their NES, Super NES, their PS2, Xbox. If you're going for Xbox 360 then you, you definitely want to come down but if you're going for like Wii, Wii U, they don't have a lot, so don't even bother. Now, I was looking for a couple PSP games, so I checked out, and I was surprised to see there was a lot of, not just sports titles, there was a few hidden miss, like, you know, you had uh, your, your Star Wars and a couple other games. Now, for Xbox, they had Dungeons & Dragons Heroes. I forgot about that game. I think I might pick it up now, because it was it maybe for me. So guys, that was basically it. Um, I just check out Game Force when I'm in Pueblo or when I'm in Denver. There is two Game Forces that are in the suburb area of Denver and one in Pueblo. Now the one in Pueblo is a little bit smaller. That's the one I showed you. That one is way easier for me to get to from where I, I originally am from. But the one pickup that I did pick up was Gresky. I've been looking for it in the case complete and this one is complete and in nice shape and it was only four bucks so that's not bad but yeah if you're ever in Colorado Nefarious West knows this Game Force is one of the stores that I go to so check it out whenever you get a chance it's not a bad place to go to and the staff is really nice now I would recommend you check out the one in Denver first that one is way more like expansive they have a lot more stock and the one in Pueblo is the one that has a little bit less stuff, but it has some unique stuff sometimes. And I always check it out whenever I'm in Colorado because that one, for some weird reason, you always find a random game that you never thought you would find. And I also did pick up American Gladiators for Captain Algebra, but I didn't show it to you guys because I already sent it out. So he is going to get that in a couple days. So enjoy Captain Algebra. Okay, so now we're switching over to Goodwill. I went to a local Goodwill in Pueblo, Colorado, just to check out what they have. 
And it was Slim Pickings. Uh, just by chance, I was hoping I'd find something. You had the miscellaneous VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. And slid inside the CDs were a couple PC games. I don't know why they always do that. And there's DuckTales. Oh, oh, who remembers those rental cases that people used to slap the cover on? They would destroy the cover. Uh. So I took a look. It, it it was a random thing. Like I saw a lot of wrestling titles. I saw a lot of Mexican soap operas. The 90s was everywhere on this one. <laughs> it was really, really funny. And then I saw something that caught my eye. Blood Rain 2. Director's Cut. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to get that. So I kept looking around just to double check to see if there was anything else. See if there's any movies. If there's any other, like... Because they had it. It was, like, weird. They had one side was PC slash CD. And then another side was CD. So it looked like the staff member just went by and was like, eh, right here. Fine. And then just walked away. And I didn't see very much other than that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I, I did pick up Blood Rain 2 for that and it came with a special like I don't know if it was a demo disc I'm gonna check that out see if I like it thank you guys for watching if you're new please subscribe and as always keep on gaming everybody I'll catch you later Linda the gamer girl she's here she's playing games Linda the gamer girl she's here she's playing games today